love and light to all of you watching this video. I'm a bit short on time and preparation for it, but since Fernando graciously asked me to be part of this summit, I thought of sharing a short but powerful message with all of you wonderful beings seeking for the consciousness of a new earth. I am Odilia Carmen, an opera singer, vocal coach, life counselor, and soon to be published author as well. There are many stories and functions attached to my name, but for what I will be sharing with you in this video, only one is important. I stand for truth, in truth and with truth. It is said, know the truth and the truth shall set you free. And so I am sharing a path to freedom. A little background on my personal journey. Since early childhood, I've been sensitive to the other dimensions. I've been feeling and seeing into the world of spirits, and I was very tuned to the astral world. There has not been a single day since I can remember myself in this world that I haven't dreamed. Many of my dreams contained catastrophic events, ends of the world from different timelines, as well as future events from my present life. I've enjoyed many beautiful places through lucid dreaming, as well as horrorful attacks from not so nice beings, to say the least, which embedded in me both fear and amazement and made me search for the ultimate power to overcome and control my reality. Since it is quite challenging to relate to a society that has no clue of the other dimensions of life without being perceived as crazy. Nevertheless, Fast forward into the present moment, after a plethora of experiences, a life of research, and through the wonderful grace of our Creator, I have received great insights and initiations from the spirit world. Today, I would like to speak to you about the power of the Word. It is said, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And through the word, everything was created. It was also said that we have been created in the image of God. And so we have been created in the image of our creator with the power to create. Although we are mostly unaware of it, we are creating our reality with the power of our words. It starts at the thought level and is further brought into life with the breath being poured into the spoken words. Our power to create, though, has been hijacked at the thought level via implanted systems of beliefs on the matrix of our reality. We are looping over and over patterns of sickness, sadness, impotence and depression that stem from a society that has fallen into ignorance and self-deception through the rise of the human ego and its desire to take hold of all power to control and manipulate at its will the course of all things. The truth is ego cannot hold any power of creating unless it is creating in the image of its creator, in wholeness that is, with reverence to all life and all beings. It is said we are born with a free will, and there is much misinterpretation around that. We believe we are free to choose and create whatever we want, but in truth, we only have two choices, to create from the ego or from the truth. One leads to death, another to life. Creating from the ego means creating from the ignorance of limited perception and self-deception, in an attempt to manipulate reality to our individual pleasure. But since everything that is created, including our ego, stems from the truth, truth is the final frontier as well. We are doomed to face the truth of our beings, meaning all that we are experiencing as creation is but a reflection of what we are choosing to be, what we choose to serve and pursue. In the case of our ego, self-deceived by the desire of power and control, that would be limitation, lack, sickness, betrayal, inequality, and so on. Much of what we already see in our reality today. However, if we stand in the image of our creator, the truth, we create from truth and in the image of truth. Love, wholeness, equality, 
equilibrium and equanimity. We can speak into being the restoration of our reality as a creation of peace. We can bring heaven on earth, not by expecting it from the outside, but by reflecting it from the inside of our hearts and our beings. We are running around searching for miracles and cures and secrets to health and power of manifestation. And we are doomed to realize sooner or later that all these secrets are limited and temporary. All we do is to prolong our journey to a not so pleasant reality filled with struggles and ignorance. In the end, we still have to face ourselves and our miscreations. And so I would like to invite you to look at the world you live in and then look within and ask yourselves, how are you still contributing to this reality? What are you still speaking into being through your thoughts and your words? What thoughts and beliefs of your ancestors and this fallen society are still looping in your minds and end it right there at the root of your mind. Make the shift to a new reality. The real work is conscious awareness and the embodiment of yourself as true beings of light, a pure and truthful reflection of your creator, the source of all things, the power of all powers, the ultimate truth that never dies, but resides eternally into itself. What else and what other powers do you need more than that? And why? That is the self-deception that you must seek to end. And this is the end of my message for today. I wish you all a beautiful journey through life and your self-discovery. And if you wish to connect with me, or work privately into deepening your understanding of self and the living truth of your being, reach out via my website, www.odiliacarmen.com. Much love and light to you all and a beautiful awakening into truth.